Next, let's create a second harvestable node, uh, which will be a tree. And we'll make it so that you can only harvest it if the player is equipping a axe instead of a pickaxe. So let's go into our objects folder where we have the resource nodes. And I'm gonna start by duplicating the resource node rock tall. And let's call this uh, resource node tree. So we'll double click into it. And uh, of course, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is change the sprite. So in the art pack, we'll go to the objects and we'll find where we have a tree we can use. So I guess we'll use this pine tree. Let's drag that in there. And we can also rename the scene file to be pine tree as well. Or let's do tree underscore pine to have it sort better alphabetically. Let's rename the node in the scene, resource node, pine tree. And the pickup type, well, we already created that. It's going to be brown ward. So drag pickup brown ward into the pickup type scene. We'll leave most of the other settings alone here. Uh, the last thing we need is to change the node type. So this is going to be uh, for nodes that are harvestable by axe. So we need to create that type and resources types. So let's create a new node type. I'll right click new resource. I'll search for, let's search for type. And then we have resource node type .gd. Let's create that. And we can call the resource type basically whatever we want. Uh, since the first one was called mineable, I'll just call this one axable. I don't know if that's even really a word. Uh, but it just refers to something that can be harvested with an axe. So let's save that type and click on the resource node. And then let's drag in axable to replace mineable.tres. So now we know that this is a resource that will be harvested by a axe. So next we need to set up the tool. And I think we have that in items folder. So we have the copper pickaxe.tres. Let's uh, duplicate that with control D. And I'll do copper axe.tres. So double click on copper axe or TRES, and we'll have the affected types here. So we need to switch to the other affected type of axable. So next we need to switch the affected types here to axable as we were just talking about. So let's load and we'll go into uh, objects, resources, types, and then axable. Okay. And we need to change the name here from copper pickaxe to copper axe and the texture. Of course, we'll use the axe icon for that. So in tools, we have axe copper. Let's drag that in there. And now we have our second type of node and the way to harvest it. Let's add some trees to the game level. Obviously the file system has a lot of items now. So we could just filter by typing in resource underscore node if you wanna quickly find the tree. So I'm gonna drag this into the scene like so. We can put a few of these trees in, which will be harvestable with a axe. So just wherever you think is good for them. One thing I do want to change, though, is the position of this collision shape. I'll move it down a little bit inside of the resource node pine tree scene. So open that up. Collision shape. Let's just uh, W to move it and move it down to the base of the tree. I might shrink it a bit, too. So something like that will do pretty good. So for sure, these pine trees are harvestable nodes. But let's show that it's not going to work with the pickaxe because pickaxes only target mineable nodes. So let's go over here to this node. And you can see the wood trees. They don't do anything right now, but we can still harvest the rocks, of course. We can still pick up a tree that's on the ground or wood that's on the ground, but we have to be able to switch to a copper axe now if we want to actually harvest a tree.